Luke's Way of Looking by Nadia Wheatley and Matt Otley. Luke looks at the world in a different way, and his art teacher does not like it. He screams and yells at the young boy, making Luke feel like he doesn't belong. On his way to school one day, Luke decides to get on a bus and see where it takes him. He ends up in the most colorful and perfect place, where he feels right at home in the wild, wonderful world of art. Using distinct language features, the author provides the reader a sense of Luke's relationship with his teacher, while the illustrator uses keen design features to depict Luke's emotions and feelings towards art, as well as his relationship with the rest of the world. Mr. Barraclaw saw what Luke had done. He went ballistic! He screamed at Luke! He tore up the painting! He broke Luke's brushes into tiny pieces! This example of imagery the author uses appeals to the reader's five senses. It creates a vivid image of what is transpiring between Luke and his teacher. We f hear him scream and we feel Luke's pain when Mr. Bearclough tears up his painting. Another language feature is dialogue. The author's use of dialogue creates tension and emotion between the participants, it develops the plot and characters while connecting the reader to Luke's ongoing struggle at school. Following the dialogue, the author uses repetitive sentences throughout the book of Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. The author's use of a repetitive sentence throughout the book connects the reader to Luke's emotions, giving them insight to his relationship with Mr. Barraclough. The author then systematically repeats the same sentence at the end of the book, but this time through the eyes of the teacher. Turning the script at the very last moment then creates a positive end to the book. Illustrations in this book have a variety of design features to create an emotional connection to the participants, as well as depicting their relationships with one another and the world around them. The shift from plain, simple colors at the beginning of the book to colorful, exciting colors towards the end allows the reader to join in Luke's journey of self-discovery. The author's use of salience throughout the book is thoughtful and well depicted. The teacher is portrayed in black and white with a red mouth, looking quite evil, with the background being very plain. While Luke's torn painting in the bottom right corner screams at the reader, it's bright blue in contrast to the rest of the page, drawing the reader's attention to it. The illustrator's use of placement in this page is quite effective. The placement of the participant in the center left page looking down towards the participant in the bottom right illustrates to the reader the subordinate relationship between the two. Using an indirect gaze, the teacher is looking down at Luke while his gaze is directed away from the teacher and the reader. This offers the reader the role of the observer, connecting them to how Luke is feeling. This combination of design features creates a cohesive visual text which engages the reader and connects them to the participants and the story.